Hello, my name is Gayatri Devi, Technical Marketing Engineer for Cisco DNA Center. This video will show you how to get started with Cisco DNA Center Swim. Cisco DNA Center Swim manages software images, optimizes the software image upgrade process, and ensures consistency of software images in your network. Here's a list of preparatory tasks that help you begin with the automation of your software image upgrade cycles with ease. Number one on the list is to view image recommendations. Cisco DNA Center Image Repository is a storehouse of the software images running on devices managed by DNA Center. It provides image recommendations based on security advisories. So you always get to see the latest recommended image for a dev particular device family managed by Cisco DNA Center. Number two on the list is to review security advisories. The image repository, in addition to listing the software images running on devices managed in DNA Center, also provides information about critical and high security advisories for each of the software versions managed in DNA Center. This information comes in handy and assists you in picking the latest and suggested image for a particular device family. Number three on the list is to download or import a software image. The image repository is so robust that it allows you to download the latest recommended software image directly from cisco.com upon having your cisco.com credentials provided in the image repository. In other cases, where you have a software image stored in an external file server, the image repository also has options allowing you to import an image from an external file storage. Number four on the list is to tag a golden image. This is a key preparatory step that allows you to automate and uh, upgrade your software image cycles with at most ease. Finally, if you have distributed geographic sites, and would like to optimize your software image upgrade cycles, make sure to add remote distribution service to copy images to devices. Let's now take a look at how to complete these preparatory steps in DNA Center. The image repository is located right here under the hamburger menu, Design Image Repository. The image repository provides a summary of all devices managed in DNA Center, information about software images managed in DNA Center, including running images, imported images, and those that have been marked golden. It also provides advisory information for these managed software images. Now, as you can see, the table below is indicative of a summary of the device families managed in Cisco DNA Center, the number of devices per device family, the number of software images per device family, and the uh, count of advisories for each of these device families. In addition to these, the image repository also shows the number of software images that have been marked golden per device family. From within this view, you can select a particular device family to view more detailed information. Now, this device specific software image view provides a list of all latest software images for this Catalyst 9300 switch, along with the number of devices that are running each of these software versions, security advisory information from Cisco.com for each of these software image versions, and an indication of which of these software image versions is go tagged golden for the Catalyst 9300 switch. You can click on the advisory information right here to view more detailed information about the security advisories, the criticality of the security advisory, the CVS score, and more information about this. You can click on the security advisory count to view more detailed information about the security advisories, including its severity, the CVSS score, etc. The image repository also provides options to fix these critical security advisories, along with providing the recommended software image version to fix this security advisory. We've seen a list of all recommended software image version. The next step is to download the software image from cisco.com or import it from an external file server. 
In order to achieve this, you would have to provide your Cisco.com credentials as mentioned right here. In order for say, DNA Center to download software images directly from Cisco.com. Alternately, you can also import software images. Once you have downloaded the software image or have imported it into DNA Center, you can tag an image golden from right within this screen. There are multiple options for you to tag a golden image. You can tag a software image golden for a particular device family. So just as we did here, we've tagged 1731 golden image for the 9300 family here. You can also choose to tag a software image golden based on the device's role, just as we've done here. If you choose to standardize a particular software image golden for all access switches or distribution switches, you can do so by editing the role right here. You can import a software image from an external file server under the Design Image Repository view. Click on Import Image and select the external file server location and provide whether it is a Cisco image or a third-party image. And then when you click on import, DNA Center imports the software image version into the image repository. DNA Center allows you to configure external list image distribution servers to distribute software images to devices in remote geographic locations. To configure an external disk image distribution server, click on the hamburger menu, system, settings, device settings, and image distribution server. You also have options to specify one or more protocols for an external image distribution server. Under the servers tab, click on add, provide the host name and the root location for your external image distribution server. Mention the credentials for the different protocols by providing username, password, and port numbers, and then click on save to configure an external image distribution server. To change the protocol preference for external image distribution servers, click on Preference. Use the toggle buttons to enable or disable a protocol. And click and drag to change the order of these protocols. Thank you for watching this video.